Hello once again to the people of Trinity Cathedral and beyond. This is BJ Owens. I'm your dean. Today I'm reflecting on Adrian Cook's wonderful sermon from this past Sunday about uh, essentials, about getting down to what is essential in our life together as the people of God. This thing that we're going through, this process of, of social distancing, uh, certainly reminds us of those those essential things that we can't quite have, whether that's gathering together in person, whether that's breaking the bread of the Eucharist together, that's certainly an essential of our faith. But also those things that are, are essential that we're rediscovering, perhaps the connection to one another that we suddenly realize, if we didn't already, just how valuable it is and how much we miss. And so we treasure these ways of connecting to each other um, that we that we do have. But I loved how she talked about uh, moving through complexity to finding uh, simplicity on the other side of it uh, and realizing that that's where we find what is essential in our relationship with God. I'm thinking about another kind of essential. Uh, my mind is always spinning on things that are going on at church, and and one of the things that's that's happening in our lives is that we are. I'm thinking about children's ministry and youth ministry. We are in a process of searching for a children's program coordinator and a youth program coordinator, essentially people who will join our staff uh, to continue and help guide and and lead our children's program and our youth program. And I want to get down to this question of why are we doing this? What is essential? What matters most in this? Well, to answer that question, I am. I want to continue on what I said uh, in my reflections last week as I talked about the loss of a good friend of mine uh, who had just died the day before, uh, my friend Robert Payne, and I talked about how I met him as I had just begun entered the Episcopal Church. I was 14 years old, and I entered by way of the youth group, the youth community. And uh, last week, I talked about how Robert was a shepherd, and he very much was. But in the days since, I, I've really been thinking as I've gone through my, my own kind of process here, really reflecting on how much this person, this, this who is a part of the church, has had an incredible impact on my life. It, it is no exaggeration to say my life would be profoundly different had I not met Robert, had I not met this person, uh, and there are dozens of people who can say the same thing about him, because what he and others did was to help create an environment, a kind of holding environment, where where we could be together and experience God together and, and really see the world through our hearts. Last summer, I was with my wife at uh, Montreat Conference Center. She she was helping to lead a youth conference there. It's a Presbyterian center. And there was a, uh, a, a piece of um, a pamphlet, that, a stack of them, and I picked it up because I thought it so perfectly captured my own experience as well as what I think gets us to the essentials of why this ministry matters, why it matters to the life of the cathedral, why it is an essential ministry in the cathedral and in, in our church, uh, but more the essential of why we're doing it. And very simply put, what this pamphlet said uh, was, reminded us, a relationship with God can change a young person forever. A relationship with God can change a young person's life forever. I absolutely believe that. That is that is the essential part of our mission. Uh, a relationship with God can change any of our lives uh, forever. But we realize as as parents, as mentors, as as the people of God, it's our responsibility to create to create an environment where where young people can have that kind of experience. And, and that's one of the things that's most exciting about, about getting to do, to do what I do and what we all get to be as the church together.
And so I, I want you to hold that process in your prayer. If you are uh, if you are a teenager, if you are a part of this process or a parent of, of young children, and you're thinking about what is it that we need? What is it that we're looking for? Um, it's not about one person that we find and that we hire, but rather getting down to this really wonderful, and I, I thought it was so simple. That's what I loved about this phrase. This idea that a relationship with God can change a young person forever. And if you believe that, and I certainly do, I think that can really guide us uh, in continuing to build a community of love and faith and hope and of teaching and beginning a lifelong journey of faith and walking with God. So I invite you to continue to hold that in your prayer. Hold me, hold all of us in your prayers at Trinity. Um, and perhaps even thinking about where this essential truth of our faith hits your life. A rela how the relation our relationship with God has changed and shaped and healed our lives. Changed our lives forever. I, I give thanks for that. And I give thanks for each of it and every one of you as well.